Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and I have a great workout for you today. Today's workout will only take 12 minutes per round and this is a no squat glutes workout. So for equipment, we are going to use a chair for a couple of moves and some dumbbells. I'm going to use two 20 pound dumbbells, but you can use whatever you have handy, what's challenging for you. If you don't have any equipment, you can grab some water bottles or just something little around the house just to add a little bit of resistance training into your workout routine. This is also an all standing workout. So no squats, no lunges, no getting down on the floor. We're going to do everything from standing. We will use the chair to get our bodies lower in a couple of exercises, but that's it. Okay, let's get into the routine. Okay, guys, before we get into the workout, if you aren't subscribed and you like getting free workouts, be sure to subscribe so you keep getting them and click like if you enjoy this workout. I want to know what your favorite exercise is and what the most challenging exercise is. Uh, that helps me write future workouts, especially when I know favorites. Okay, guys. Let's grab our dumbbells and get into the workout. We have 10 seconds of prep time. The first exercise is a split stance deadlift. So for this one, one leg is going to be forward. The other leg, the toe is going to touch just for um, balance. We're going to lower, flat back, and lift. So the key point here is that flat back, butt reaching back, hinging through those hips, and then pressing the hips forward. Breathe, push through that heel to stand. Breathe through it. Really engaging that hamstring and glute. Flat back. We're getting there, guys. Keep going. Good job, same thing, other side. If you need to set your weights down for a second, you can. So other foot is gonna go behind this time. Whoop, I'm losing my balance. Here we go. Flat back, butt reaching backwards, pressing through that heel, squeezing through that glute as we come up. You can do this. So the weights come close to the shin. We're not using the arms to power this lift. We are using the lower body. That posterior chain is working a lot with this exercise. Almost there, we have less than 10 seconds. Excellent, keep going. Good job. Next, we are going to have a single leg, oh no, I'm sorry, a pendulum with leg kick or leg rotation. So we're going to go sideways, knee facing forward, knee facing up. So you do not need to have the chair. I grabbed it just to demonstrate um, how it can help with balance. So you should feel a lot of work in this outside quadrant of the glute, especially when you rotate that knee up and the standing leg, standing glute is doing a lot of work during this exercise as well. Keep going. Breathe. Excellent. Less than five seconds, you can make it. Good job, same thing, other direction. We're ready. Doing good. So keep moving. This leg might feel a little bit more tired because we just made that standing leg do a lot of the work and now we're asking it to do more.
You are doing great. We have less than 10 seconds. Okay, excellent. Next we have a single leg glute break. So we're gonna use this, we're gonna grab a dumbbell. If your dumbbells are a little lighter, you can grab two, or even if they're heavier. Okay, one toe is gonna be up just like in that split squat. Flat back, we're gonna hinge and press using that standing leg, the heel that is flat on the ground to do the majority of the work. So our whole hips are dropping, back stays pretty flat, and then hips are hinging. That is that main motion we want to happen, is that hip extension and then hip flexion using the back of the body to power into the lift. So whatever toes are up right now are gonna be down next time and vice versa, we're gonna do the other side. Good job, you can get up, you can sit down if you need to. I'm just gonna hang out right here before I go to the other side. So this foot's gonna be flat, other foot's gonna be on the toes using this leg, the flat leg, to power through the motion. And you can hold at the top for a beat if you would like. You could definitely hold two dumbbells or even do this with a barbell if you have one or a, a band, a resistance band would be great way to do this workout exercise as well. Breathe. Pushing through those hips. Make those glutes work. That is our theme today. Make the glutes work. Good job, guys. Okay, we're gonna get into a Romanian deadlift next. So back to both. And for this one, flat back is the key. Weights come close to the shins, powering through the glutes. Back goes, or butt goes back. So this is not a squat. You're not squatting down into it. Your back stays flat, the hips hinge, and then press forward. Try and keep the weight even between both feet. I like to lift my toes a little bit and push through the heels just to help me target the back of the body. Doing good. We're almost there. We have less than five seconds. You can do this. Good job. Next we have a mini plie pulse. So toes turn out at an angle, tailbone tucks. So not like a squat. We're not going to go all the way down and we're not reaching the butt back. We're just tucking the tailbone under and pulsing here. So if you're up a little bit higher, that's fine. If you're down a little bit lower, that's fine too. Listen to your body. These outer um, sides of your glutes should be working a lot in this position. Breathe through it and pulse. So we always want to work when we do really the whole body, but um, the hips, glutes, thighs, quads, we want to work front of the muscles, back of the muscles, inside, outside, and the rotational muscles to make sure we're getting everything. So we're doing that today. We have less than 10 seconds left. Pulse it out. Here we go. Next, we have a half circle with a kickback. I'm gonna move these down. You can use the chair for balance if you would like. Okay, so leg points forward. Like you're making a line or a half circle in the sand, then kick it back and bring it forward. So if your toes were being dragged in sand, just picture that you're drawing that half circle. Kick, bring it forward. So we just talked about that rotation through the body. So we're getting a few different things here. Breathe, so core stays engaged. We're not doing like a big 
arch through the back when we kick. We're trying to engage the glutes, not do this. Hopefully you guys could see the difference. So back and core stay engaged the whole time, including that kickback. Other side. So if you were doing that arch, it's okay. Just start correcting it now. It takes practice to really get down the form, but you're really going to maximize your results when you do so. Breathe. In particular for this exercise and the next exercise, we don't want that arched back because it'll take the work away from the glutes that we're targeting and put it into the back, which we don't want. Keep going. Half circle, kick it back. Draw that circle. Excellent work, guys. Almost there. Okay, and finally we have a standing donkey kick. Okay, so for this one, uh, we're going to put our hands on the chair and heel, heel up toward the ceiling, core strong. So like I said, we don't want this. We don't want that low back working. The back is staying still. Like if I put a book here, it should just stay still there. And we're pulsing that heel up toward the ceiling. So glutes are really gonna work pretty quickly. Um, a lot of times we do this on kneeling, but I just wanted to keep us off the floor today. I know a lot of people uh, struggle sometimes with that up and down, or sometimes you're just in a location, like a hotel room or someplace, where you don't wanna get on the floor. You wanna be able to get in your workout standing. Maybe if you have a nice private office, and you want to get in a workout. Good job. And other side to finish up the workout. You guys are doing great. Here we go. So again, make sure you're not arching through that back. That heel is pulsing. Glute is firing. If you put your hand on it, you should feel it working. Breathe in. Our back is flat. Even if you're up a little bit higher, same thing. So listening to your own body. Remember, you can always modify. There's always a way, says the occupational therapist in me. <laughs> Breathe and keep going. Excellent job, guys. We are almost there. Four more seconds of booty burn. <laughs> Activity completed. Ah, great work today, guys. So quick, 12 minutes. I am sweaty, <laughs> I'm dripping sweat right now. Um, so it's still a great burn, but no jumping, no squats, no lunges. Let me know if this was a useful workout to you, if you'd like to see more up, more like it. And as always, like I said, like, subscribe if you haven't already. I love working out with you guys. I love reading your comments. So let's keep working out together. I'll see you guys soon.